How's it going, David from Comic Book Investments? So I just got, I think the most expensive I've ever paid for a comic book, for a single comic book ever in this box right here. I haven't even opened it, so I'm hoping you know, this would be a kind of a lackluster video if it's not what I'm thinking it is. I'm pretty sure it is though. Um, yeah, it's really expensive. I can't believe I, I spent this much on it. Um, I'm trying to remember other books that, I, you know, in my whole career, what I've spent on, but I think this is the most, pretty much the most expensive book I've ever paid. Um, let's just open it up as I'm talking here. Yeah, it's, you know, I got a key here. My knife is downstairs. But yeah, so, I mean, this is from Heritage. The packing's always really good, so you never have to worry about that. Most expensive. Here we go. Yeah, so I got this from Heritage, and it was actually kind of annoying because I bought... This is what I don't understand. I won this in an auction. There was some kind of issues with um, my account. Nothing like major or anything like that. I just wanted it on a separate account uh, than my normal account. No big deal. That took a few days of them. Literally, I told them like, hey, can you transfer this over to the other account? And they're like, they're like, yeah, no problem. And then days go by, they never transferred it. I'm like, I call them again because I called them. And they're like, yeah, yeah, sure, we'll get on. And again, nothing. It's just like, do you not, do you not, like when I tell you to do something, and I'm like, hey, can you please do this for me? Do you just not write it down or something because I have to keep calling? So finally, by the third time, I was able to get it done, uh, switched over to my other account, and uh, <clears throat> then I paid for it right away. Here's the interesting thing. I paid for it. It was paid. Everything was paid. Money in their account. No worries. They didn't ship it for over a month. I'm like, why? I, I paid for it. It's not like it's sitting there waiting to get paid or I'm making payments. I paid for it. And it sat there for like a month. I, I, it just makes no sense to me. Like, why does it take so long for you to ship something when I already paid for it? All right, so here's the book. Dun, da, 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 dun, da, da, dun. Most expensive book I ever paid for. Or at least I can think that I've ever paid for. Um, you ready to see it? X-Men number one, six, five. Now this is uh, conserved, but it's still an X-Men one, six, five. Conserved affects the value, yes. If this was not conserved, it'd be way more expensive. But I mean, the cool thing about this book is it looks super, super nice. Super nice, super clean. The downside to it is it has kind of that like tanning going on where it's like like a little bit chippy and stuff and that's why it's downgraded like a little bit of like brownness overall but if it didn't have that brownness this book would be like a an 80 at least so nice it's just that overall brownness and tanness that kind of down not like super brown and tan where it's like literally like the book just looks like a whole different color just like overall um yeah so that's the most i've ever paid i'm sure you guys are wondering how much i paid you guys can probably just look it up on heritage if you really wanted to but i paid twenty nine thousand. <laughs> it's just crazy to me sometimes when like uh that happens um yeah <laughs> I, I think we have someone that will want this so i don't think we're gonna have it for too long but yeah, it's kind of crazy. Uh, like, I remember one of the most, like, I'm trying to remember all the expensive books I bought. I bought a Showcase 22 way back in the day for like 23000 I'm trying to remember. So there's, I bought a, a more fun 73 first Aquaman for like 22000 and I remember this was like kind of early on when I was dating my girlfriend and her parents were over and I was doing the, uh, the heritage auction in my room and then I come out 
And I'm like, yeah, just bought the book I wanted. And they're like, oh, that, congratulations. And like, I was like, yeah, it cost me 22000 And they don't know anything about comic books. And they're like, wait, what? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, for a comic book? And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, are you serious? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, oh, my gosh. Because <laughs> they, don't, they don't get it. Most people don't. Um, I had a, I've had two Cap 1s back in the day, but... I had a Batman one and a Cap one, and I'm trying to remember if I paid over this price for it. I don't remember. I don't think I did. I might have. And you're just thinking, oh, Cap one and a Bat one, there must be like hundreds of thousands. Yes, now they are, but you know, you go back six, seven, eight years ago, and they weren't. They're you know, twenties and and uh, like in the twenty thousands, maybe in the thirty thousands. Ours was a Batman three five or four five I'm trying to remember things worth like two hundred fifty thousand now i wish you know i had an opportunity to buy an action one coverless but complete for like twenty three thousand and i was like i didn't want to go any higher than like 19 or 21 i can't remember i remember i was just a little bit off and i was like thinking oh man it's so expensive for a coverless oh man i wish i would have bought it <laughs> and just threw it away so we're not throwing away like forgotten about it I remember my dad told me this one story where I guess it was like a really bad year or something like that for him. This was um, after he always uh, sold his business, retired and came back and he was kind of doing it part time. It was like, I don't know, it was around Christmas time. Things weren't moving. Things weren't selling. And he was like, oh, man, I don't know what I'm going to do. I need some money. And he he's moving some stuff around in his bedroom, not in his office, in his bedroom. And it's like up on this top shelf, he's telling me about it. And he out pulls like a journey in mystery that was worth like, I don't know, he said like 10 or 13 grand at the time. He's like, oh man, I totally forgot about this. You know, journey in mystery 83, that's like super easy to sell. And you can pretty much get, you know, top dollar for it. If you're in, you know, a pinch, you need to get rid of it. And so he's like, yeah, then I sold it. And my whole month was fine after that. So it's just funny. Like, I wish I could do that. Just like put something away and completely forget about it. And like, oh man, I forgot I had like 10 action ones just sitting here. So I wish. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is like pretty much one of the most expensive books I've ever bought. Uh, pretty crazy. But I mean, it, that's just like comes with the territory. I wouldn't even consider, I would consider myself like a decent sized comic book dealer, but not a big dealer because there's like, I mean, what was it like? Reese's comics just like uploaded like X-Men 1, Batman 1, you know, Fantasy 4 1, like all these like three Fantasy 15s, like all from a collection they just got. Um, so there's definitely people that have this like ridiculous stuff. Like you just go to the uh, conventions and there's just like walls of this like, wow, it's like they have, you know, Action 1, Detective 27, there's a whole slew of uh, Fantasy 15s, Hulk 21s, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I mean, but they've been doing it for years and years and years to get to that point. Uh, hopefully one day I'll get there. You know, I, I would consider myself one of the younger dealers in the dealer space. But yeah, um, so pretty crazy. I mean, that this, ha you know, I spent this much and how it took like a month. But uh, let me know what the, you know, how much you spent on a comic book that was like, I guess, like a really big comic that you never thought you'd be spending that much money on. Um, all right. Have a great day.